everyone, as per your suggestions and feedbacks we will try and create more detailed videos on special forces. To keep the videos short and precise we will break the topic in several smaller topics. Today WarWiki brings you the analysis of the training for one of the best special forces of the world, the US Navy SEALs. Depending on your feedbacks, you can expect more follow-up videos on Navy SEALs. In today's video we will discuss about the selection and training procedures of Navy SEALs. The Navy SEALs are also famous for using canine units, today we will also discuss what training goes behind the US Navy SEAL dogs. So welcome to War Wiki and do enjoy this video. The US Navy SEALs is one of the most famous and well-known special forces in the world. SEAL stands for sea, air, and land, indicating their capabilities to perform tasks anywhere. A Navy SEAL operative is trained and capable of doing many tasks, some of them unbelievable, but very few people know about the difficult training and procedures that make such an operative so lethal. Application to a Navy SEAL program is voluntary, anyone from a US military officer to an American civilian can apply and they are all trained side by side. Applicant no matter who he is, should be between the age group of 18 to 28 years. The US Navy SEAL training comprises of six phases. Five phases of generic selection and training procedure and one phase of troop or platoon specific training. Let's start by discussing these in details. Navy SEAL Assessment This is the primary phase to filter the candidates who are not physically fit enough to become a SEAL. It is called SEAL Physical Screening Test or PST. It has several physical criteria. the minimum requirements are, 500 yards swim using breast stroke or combat side stroke, in under 12 minutes and 30 seconds. At least 50 push-ups in 2 minutes, run 1.5 miles in running shorts and boots in under 10 minutes and 30 seconds, at least 50 sit-ups in 2 minutes, and at least 10 pull-ups from a dead hang. Naval Special Warfare Preparatory School This is the second phase and lasts for around 8 weeks. This is conducted in Naval Special Warfare Preparatory School in Great Lakes, Illinois. Here the aspirants are given a crash course in physical standards that are needed even to attempt to become a SEAL. Physical screening tests like, timed 4-mile runs, and timed 1,000-meter swims, are some examples. The motive is to prepare the aspirant for a much more challenging next phase. Basic Underwater Demolition BUDS as it is popularly called, stands for Basic Underwater Demolition SEALs, the Phase 3 and the most important phase in a Navy SEAL training. The highest washout happens in this part of the training. It is a 24-week long training procedure that itself is divided into three phases. It focuses on challenging the aspirant's mental and physical stamina and also tests the candidate's ability to work as a team and leadership skills. Before the different phases in BUDS start, a three-week indoctrination or INDOC program, introduces the candidates to the Naval Special Warfare Center in Coronado, and the BUDS lifestyle. Phase 1 of BUDS, Physical Conditioning. This is a seven-week long phase, that primary focuses on physical conditioning, water competency, teamwork, and mental tenacity. Physical conditioning uses running, swimming, and calisthenics and grows harder and harder as weeks progress. The first two weeks of this phase are also popularly called, the Hell Week, where the candidates undergo a five and a half day of continuous training, the candidates sleep at most for four hours and undergo tedious physical and mental exercises for remaining 20 hours, in a very stressful environment. The Hell Week tests the physical and mental strength of the candidate and filters the men from boys. Phase 2 of BUDS, Combat Diving this is a seven-week training that is focused on improving the candidates' underwater combat and swimming skills. The physical training continues and becomes even more intensive, and is primarily focused on diving techniques and swimming and underwater combat capabilities. This is what separates Navy SEALs from other US Special Forces. Phase 3 of BUDS, Land Warfare. This seven-week long phase teaches the aspirants, basic weapons, demolitions, land navigation, patrolling, grappling, marksmanship and small unit tactics. Here the class is taught to complete overall missions and train to work as a unit and team. Parachute Jump School This is the fourth part of Navy SEAL training after BUDS. This is a three-week long training that takes place in San Diego, California. Here the candidates are given a crash course of tactical air operations. To complete the course, candidates must pass through a series of jump progressions, from basic static line, 
to accelerated free fall, to combat equipment, and ultimately completing night descents with combat equipment, from a minimum altitude of 9,500 feet. SEAL Qualification Training SEAL Qualification Training or SQT is a 26-week course that will take the student from the basic elementary level of Naval Special Warfare, to a more advanced degree of tactical training. It is designed to provide the SEAL aspirant, with the core tactical knowledge that they will need during SEAL operations. The student will be taught advanced close quarter combat, advanced weapons, and demolition, survival skills and everything that is required for a special force operative. Once the SQT is successfully completed the aspirants are awarded the coveted Navy SEAL Trident, they are now a part of one of the most successful special forces of the world, the US Navy SEALs. Immediately after graduating from SQT and acquiring the Trident, the Navy SEAL graduates are assigned to specific SEAL teams to start the sixth phase of advanced training. SEAL Troop Training This is the last phase of SEAL training before they can be deployed for live missions. This phase varies from team to team and can last from 12 months to 18 months. Here the SEALs are given individual speciality training to develop specific skills like, sniper, diving maintenance, equipment repair, rope skills, advanced demolition, unmanned aerial vehicle operator and many many more. SEALs are further trained in specific mission oriented tasks and group skills. At last, the Navy SEAL is ready, a lethal force, ready to be deployed anywhere on this world. Our video on US SEAL training, would have been incomplete, without any mention of Navy SEAL dogs. US Navy SEALs are famous for using their canine units for special operations. In 2011, for the Operation Neptune Spear, where Osama bin Laden was killed, a Navy SEAL dog of a Belgian Malinois breed, named Cairo was used. The Navy SEAL K9 unit is one of the best kept secret. US Navy SEALs primarily use Belgian Malinois breed dogs, studies have shown that this breed is one of the most dedicated and disciplined breed, that will follow your instructions no matter what. Like their human counterparts, the dog SEALs are highly trained, highly skilled, highly motivated special ops experts, able to perform extraordinary military missions by sea, air, and land. The training team uses advanced wind tunnel technology to train the dog mentally for high altitude jumps, followed by actual jumps with their instructors. Last year canine parachute instructor Mike Persite and his dog Kara, set the world record for highest man dog parachute deployment, jumping from more than 30,100 feet up. Dogs are used to quickly identify the targets and explosives, in quick extraction or elimination missions. US Navy SEALs continue to amaze the world, with their well-trained canine Navy SEALs. More Wiki Analysis US Navy SEALs are one of the best special forces in the world, their training program consists of around 16 months of generic training and an advanced troop training of around 18 months. SEAL training is very comprehensive with a washout ratio of around 80%. The recruits are trained to become mentally and physically tough. They acquire key skills like survival skills, marksmanship, underwater demolition, advanced weapons, handling of UAV and many more. Navy SEALs K9 unit is probably a unique feature of US Navy SEALs, the dog SEALs are extremely well trained K9 soldiers that require tedious and unconventional training techniques. Thanks for watching the video, if you did like the video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Based on your feedback we will come out with more detailed videos regarding the US Navy SEALs, their exploits and missions. We also want to tell you about the legendary, Navy SEAL 6 team, and its Operation Neptune Spear, which killed Osama bin Laden. So please do give us your feedbacks. If you didn't like the video please comment and tell us what we can do to improve. Have a wonderful day and support WarWiki.